Hey, good morning, YouTubers. Thanks for checking out the video. I know it's been a little bit since uh, I made a video, but we're gonna get up and run, and life has just gotten in the way. But what you see here behind me is my next little project. But before I do that, I want to uh, give a shout out to my last 10 subscribers um, who has subscribed to my channel knowing that I haven't put a video on for three months. So. It's FM, Harley Ultra 78, Steve Smoes, Robert Huller, uh, PK, RS Donk, that's a cool name, John Towers, Conrad Nauman, Jacus, Michael, and W. Dunn. So thanks for subscribing to my channel. Uh, we're going to get some more videos up and running here and um, see if we can't get on the river here September 16th. I feel like I'm running out of time. But what we're going to do here is uh, see if I can't get water from this tank to that sink. And I just want to go over a little bit about what I have done here. Alright, what I have done is I bought a 30 gallon tank from Orslands. It's a country tough. It holds 30 gallons of water. It's got a high flow gold series two gallons per minute pump on it i don't know if that is going to work for what i need it to do but we're going to see i also bought a premium deep cycle power max marine and rv battery from walmart it's a 29 dc it's got 845 cranking amps and I wanted to go with the most cranking amps to get started with the motors that I have and like the coffee maker and TV and computers and I may have to buy another battery. That one may not last but a few hours after it's charged up but I am going to hook up my solar panels to it. And then the next thing is this sink right here. I just have it on the bucket just for working purposes. But I plan on making a countertop, a 36 inch tall kitchen countertop. I'm going to put this sink in it right here and uh, then have some counter uh, top space to, for a cook stove and, and uh, drawers and cabinets and things to do some storage. My boat is uh, three hours away from here. I uh, put it down there at uh, Lake of the Ozarks and seems like I just can't work on it three hours away. So I'm bringing it back up here in the next couple weeks. It's going to be sitting here in the yard and I'm going to work on it. And we have a couple little lakes around here that we can uh, put it in. And, and I hate that I just paid for storage down there. But hey, hey, <laughs> it's just what happened. So um, what I'm trying to do here is... I want to be able to remove this. I want to put a line from the pump to the sink to one of the uh, faucet handles. But I also want a T right in here that I can put another cord, maybe this one right here, and put a shower head on it and go somewhere on the boat and take a shower. Uh, may have to add some hot water to it. Um, depends on how cold it is and everything. So what I'm fixing to do is fill this tank up and then uh, we're going to see if the sprayer works and how much pressure it has. And then we're going to take this off, run to the hardware store, get what we need, and then come back and see if we can't hook it up. So stay tuned. Here we go. Alright, we're going to see if uh, I could put some water in the tank here just to see if it flows okay and everything. This black hose that I have, I think it's like... 50 foot maybe 75 foot I've been thinking about taking it and wrapping it on top of the boat on the roof of it on the ceiling so the Sun will hit it I know if it lays out here in the yard with water in it man it just gets super hot probably too hot to take a shower under but um, later on we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't put this up there on top of the boat and uh, kind of weave it around and tie it down and see if the sun can't heat it up but I got to figure out some way to get the water into it maybe just through the tap here but uh, that's be another project uh, that's about 10 gallons for 
10 liters. I think, that, yeah, the gallon is on this side. This is 10 gallons here. That's five gallons we've got in there so far. I see a little leak over here on the on the other side where it uh, it's the outflow of it. So I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm gonna put 10 gallons in it and see uh, see if it'll do anything. This is brand new. It's never been used. Just a little bit more to go. That's about 10 gallons right there. I got a leak right there on that plug. Hmm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I gotta do something with it. All right, I'm gonna hook it up to the battery. All right, looks like red to red and black to black. It's on there. I may just have to put some Teflon tape on that outflow over there. Alright, let's see if we can't turn it on. I got a switch right here, but uh, I'm probably going to put this switch somewhere else. Uh, a little bit easier to take care of. Here we go. Alright, well it is running. It's kind of loud, but... I don't see nothing coming out. Maybe you have to prime the pump or something. Let's shut that off. You know, it'd probably be smart if I read the paperwork on it. Alright, there's a little switch down here. I opened it up. Let's see if it'll spray it in. Let me put the nozzle back on it. I'll turn it on. I hear something. Look at there. It works. All right. And the pump shuts off. I like that. So I'll shut it off here again. Let the water out of it. I'm going to shut this plug off down here. Now what I'm going to do is take this off, run to the hardware store, see if I can't get something to go from here to here. But i got to go get my tablet, take some pictures. Okay, I'm back. All right, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to Teflon tape this uh, right here to make sure it stops leaking. And then I'm also going to go over here, Teflon tape this, and I bought a fitting, which is right here. I'm going to put that on there. And then I should be able to put this hose right here on it. And then I also bought a T-fitting, and I'm not sure I'm going to put this on yet, but I may put it right here so I can run another line from here off to a shower, maybe, or a hot water heater or something. So let's do this and see if we can at least get water to that sink. We're going to 
put about 10, 10 gallons in it. We're going to put about 10 gallons in it. Maybe I should hold it. Ran the dog off too. It needed a good cleaning anyway. Of course, I'll clean it all up when we get it in the boat. Alright, that should be enough. Now, let's have to take this. Then I'm going to screw my fitting on here. I'm not sure this is going to work, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Okay, that's fairly tight. Now, if I'm right, if I turn my pump on and then turn this valve on, water should come out of there. Let's turn the pump on. Alright, I got the pump on. But I don't have this little thing switched. I got that on. So now if I turn this handle, water should come out. And it does. Look at that, ain't that cool? That is awesome. I gotta try to take this uh, screen off here and see if it uh, see if it's dirty and I'm gonna clean it up. Let's do that. The seal in it was just all tore up, messed up. So we're going to clean that up. See if I can't put a couple new rubbers in it. And put it back on. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. It only took a couple hours. And uh, I got accomplished what I wanted to do. Uh, got my 30 gallon water tank, got my sink here, got it all hooked up, and uh, when I uh, turn the handle on, come on there, water comes out. That is awesome. And then uh, when I shut it off, the pump goes off, so I really like that a lot. Now I am going to be building a cabinet for it, uh, but I'm going to wait until I get the boat up here. So this is it for this one. Um, I'll take another one when I get ready to make the cabinet and put it in the boat. And just want to thank you guys for staying with me. Uh, all you guys who uh, became su subscribers a long time ago, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And uh, trying to get to 100. We're up to 95 now. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if this is your first time watching this, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And know that September 16th, I'm getting on that river. The only way it's going to stop me is if I'm dead. So I don't know if I'm going to do the whole trip or not. I'm sure going to try. And uh, so, yeah, I'm getting excited about it. And it's coming up.
close. It's coming up time to, to get busy and get things done. So I think my next project is I need to make a, a, a holder for my trolling motor. And uh, I'm going to put it on the front of the boat, and it's got a lot of thrust to it. I don't know if it's going to maneuver me in the, in the river, but uh, in the lakes and in the uh, small areas that I pull off to, um, I think it'll work just fine. So, hey, thanks again. Appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks.